My name is Charlene Badman. I'm in the restaurant business and I cook for a living. This is a picture of me at the age of 12. Early on, my experience with food was poor. I remember going to school where we would be served things like Frito pie. This is a dish where you, <laughs> this is a dish where you open up a bag of chips, stuff it full of chili, cheese, and top it with some onions so you have a vegetable. <laughs> at, ho at home, my mother was young and we did not have a lot of money, so uh, we just didn't have a lot of resources. Um, as a result, I became an overweight a child and later on an overweight adult. I just knew, though, that it could be better than that. Ironically, I did get into the food business in a program in high school called FEAST, Food Education and Service Training. I continued working with local chefs, uh, working up through the ranks, and eventually owned my own restaurant in Manhattan. Five years ago, I moved back here to Phoenix, and I weighed over 300 pounds. Let's just say New York was good to me. <laughs> I would work all night, drink a bottle of champagne, and then uh, go out to eat dinner, turn around and uh, wake up in the morning, go to the farmer's market, order the nine, number 14 Chinese lunch special, and then do it all over again. Two and a half years ago, Pavle and I opened up F&B. So here I am, a successful chef. I've been in the business for 22 years, and I've continued to have poor eating habits since childhood. It took somebody actually asking me why I would cook nutritious, healthy food for other people but not take care of myself. It was true. There was this disconnect between feeding other people and not nurturing myself. It opened up my eyes and made me think about where this had started. I, made, I started to focus on my eating habits and make a change. I started to drink less, eat more fruits and vegetables, and, and exercise more. As a result, I've lost 125 pounds in the last two and a half years. It is true, it is a fact that one in three children in the United States are overweight or obese. It's also this thing that we're doing right now that it's very popular to change our school lunch program and a popular van wagon to ride. But it's just not something that interests me because I do not have any children. <laughs> but I do know that nothing is going to improve unless the squeaky wheel garners some attention, garners some attention and makes a plan and, and put something into action. So when the vice principal of Arcadia Neighborhood Learning Center came into the restaurant and asked if I'd be willing to teach a class in the garden, I jumped at the chance, even though I did tell her that I did not like children. <laughs> I, went, I went to the school, and as I was teaching the children how to make meatballs with local grass-fed beef, I watched that they ate a school lunch, a school lunch that was, consisted of blue jello and a bagel and cream cheese. I watched as, as they ate the bagel and cream cheese, and this bagel and cream cheese is the vegetarian option on Mondays, as is pizza on Tuesdays, now that pizza is considered a vegetable by lawmakers because it contains two tablespoons of tomato paste. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I decided I needed to make a change. I, went, I, went back to, I wanted to go back to the school as possible, as soon as possible, and I wanted to make a change. I'm sorry. We went to the school. Pavle and I were able to go to the school along with our staff and local farmers, the McClendons, and cook them a nutritious, healthy meal. We cooked them things like a Jidori chicken wings, and rutabaga fries, and a school, and a salad bar that consisted of watermelon radishes, and, er, and heirloom carrots, and a Meyer lemon vinaigrette. We cooked for over 500 children, grades kindergarten through eighth grade. I want to be the next lunch lady. I, <laughs> I, I want children to know how to eat better, and how, how to learn how to eat better. My goal is to ask other local chefs to adopt a school and to teach them how to learn better eating habits. I want them to learn from their own experiences like, and take from their own experiences like I did and to teach children better eating habits. My goal is to ask other culinary, to ask culinary schools and culinary school students 
to volunteer their time and to make a change. We need to, uh, we need to encourage children to have better choices. And the only way we can do this is to teach them with our choices that we have, that we, to make better choices with us, the ones that know how to cook and love food. If I can make a difference with one child and connect with them, it will, it will make this difference. And I wish that child had been me.